What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 93. Now, chat, who is the best 93 in NFL history? Dwight Freeney? I mean, Javon Curse on the Eagles was 93. Who else is 93? I mean, the first Dwight Freeney is 93, was he not? I'm, I'm, that's, the, that's the first one that comes to my mind is Dwight Freeney. Who did y'all see, man? Was John Randall 93? I was confused if he was 93 or 92. But I would take Dwight. I would take Dwight over John Randall. Right? Agree or disagree? Dwight, Dwight Franey or John Randall? Who are you guys taking? That's a, I, I, and I thought Randall was 92. But I don't really remember, honestly. So I could be wrong. I could be right. But I would take Dwight over John Randall myself. You know, um, Franey was like a difference maker. You know? So obviously John Randall was. Stony guy, my guy with the three months. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I don't know. But at the end of the day, where John Randall was like old. You know what I'm saying? John Randall was like, and when I say old, I mean old. Right, chat? Shoot. But this is the Nita Podcast. Let's get it. Now, I have one topic today. Now, this is the hardest pause because you guys take things real wild. But this is like, I don't want to say the hardest time to do, but bro, we are like, what are we, 10 days away, nine days away from a new game? Like, it's like, bro, what are we going to rap about? What are we going to talk about? Um, I, I, there's, I don't think there was any drama this week. I didn't get any drama. And uh, so my job as the person that I am is let's come up with something to talk about. And for me, eight days, eight days till Madden 21 is that... Is that accurate? Eight days? Southern Bowl? Eight days? I don't know. I really don't know when the exact day we can play Madden. I don't know when it, EA Access comes out. I don't know when it's available for download. Uh, I, I, so we're going deep. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't need any more drama. Thing, they be taking the drama too far, bro. They be get, they be taking drama too far, and once it go too far, I kind of chill, you know. Once I realize, honestly, chat. Once you realize you win, that like, there's not, no, there's no reason to draw it out, right? Like if you knock somebody out, like you don't, you don't gotta keep kicking on them, you know, because then people start feeling sorry for that person. You know what I'm saying? So from I'm chilling, you know, I'm chilling as far as that's concerned. Yeah, like yeah, I'm. I'm I'm over that that aspect. Eight days, three hours, and thirty nine minutes. Is that is that proper? Who knows, man. Knowing EA, it'll probably be delayed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Eduardo in classes. But so I thought, what's one of the best things to talk about? Now I'm going to be working. My man, Southern Bull, with the tier one. Thank you, buddy. Now for me, I am working on on putting together my perfect format. Uh, I did a little bit of that, and as I did that today, I said, you know, what were some of the best... Because this is how I... I guess this is how you do everything in life. You think about what were the positives, and how can I continue the positives, and remove the negatives, right? In my daily journey in life. You know, if I had a positive... If my breakfast sandwich on Tuesday was good as shit, I'm probably going to want to eat that breakfast sandwich again further on in my life, right? That's kind of how... You know, you got to keep the positives and kind of weed out the negatives. And for me, um, that's how I would do it when I started making my perfect format that I'm going to release next week. That's going to be my biggest show. Dub dot W perfect MCS format. Structure everything, prize pool, everything next week. So I'm, I'm putting this together, this detailed breakdown. I'm thinking, what are the best things that the, that the MCS has given us in four or five years? Uh, and that's pretty much what led me to let me like let me make a list, and you guys can agree or disagree, and we can talk more about these tournaments. So I hope all you guys have caught up on most of these tournaments. If not, obviously watch them when they were live. Now, everybody loves football, ain't that right? Now today, the biggest news, if you guys didn't see, is that. Um, my first year in Columbus, and we're going to have no Big Ten football or Pac-12 now. Is it Pac-12? Um, we're going to have no more football from the Pac-12 or the Big Ten this year, which is super rough. Super rough. So that was pretty much the biggest news. So 
So that's just more time for you guys to watch Madden, whether it be on YouTube or Twitch or anything, or play Madden, you know? So uh, going into this list of the best tournaments, man, I kind of tried my best to incorporate all the different things, all the different, you know, aspects of a tournament, man. The format, the players that were in it, that that, that matters to an extent. Um, the money given away, uh, just the... Uh, the gameplay, I think the gameplay kind of ha has to be incorporated. You know what I'm saying? So for me, um, uh, the gameplay kind of hurt Madden 20, I would assume. I don't think any Madden 20 tournaments were that high on the list. I don't know if you guys would agree or disagree. But I don't really have Madden 20 that high on the list. Now... At the end of this, we will definitely do a, a worst tournaments of the Madden 16 or the Madden MCS era. But this is just my top 10 list. You know what I'm saying this is my top 10 list. Now, you guys can agree, disagree, whatever it may be. But this is the list. Like I said, a lot of this stuff goes into um, Clef Madden Bowl money job. A lot of this goes into... Um, essentially uh just the format the money everything the um production of course uh but the first one i have on my list number 10 is the madden 20 classic now this tournament was great the number one reason this tournament was great is because it, it was just a a single elimination or a double elimination it's my man old tech gets the five subs old tech my guy the madden classic and madden 20 um, a double elimination one weekend tournament, a uh, live tournament, I don't think you can really go wrong with that. I think it's the first tournament where they introduced this double elimination in the MCS. So that was a super W. Uh, the only drawback from the Madden Classic t this year was just is the Ezekiel Elliott just punching everybody in the face. You know, so I think the gameplay itself really held back the Madden Classic this year. You know, but as far as like the format where it was a one day tournament, I think the Man Classic this year was executed very well. Uh, it was very professional and, and it, it, it was a good tournament to watch. Like I said, the only thing that really holds us back and keeps it at the 10 spot instead of, you know, four or five really is essentially that gameplay, really. So, uh, but Mo won this tournament. Uh, the best game of this tournament was probably that last Mo and Henry game. I believe uh, Joke and Clef had a great game in this tournament. Uh, as I look back, I, I don't know if I can remember any other super super hell games uh, that that were super memorable. But if you ask me, the best game of this tournament was the last game, uh, Mo knocking off Henry and holding him off to win the belt. Honestly, like I said, for me. The overall gameplay kind of held this tournament back. And, and honestly, the next couple are also Madden 20 tournaments, essentially. The next one, the Man Bowl in Madden 20. The, the last tournament we've had, um, the, the biggest positive of this tournament was they executed this great from everybody being home, everybody locked in, uh, everybody locked in, everybody in the house, everybody chilling. Nobody allowed to go out, and they actually mailed everybody, you know, studio setups, lights and cameras and, and better internet and everything they possibly could to throw on the Man Bowl. And uh, once again, it, they executed it very great, very great. And like you said, uh, when we look back at Man Bowl 20, the Henry versus Clef game, which was, I believe, in the sem quarterfinals, the final eight, uh, I believe was uh, probably the best game. Was there any other great games that you guys remember? Um... Yeah, the LCQ and the Madden Bowl, they did a great job for what they had to work with, honestly. B between the COVID and between everybody being at home, it was definitely a tough obstacle. And I feel like they executed it pretty pretty flawlessly. Oh, yeah, the D. Croft versus Henry on the, the kick return off the uh, off the pooch pump. But I, don't, I think that was like a round-robin game, really. That was a group play game. Yeah. Yeah, so they did a good job with it. Uh, once again, Madden 20, for me, the just the whole, the gameplay of the game kind of holds it back, honestly, for me. That's all. 
They did. They did a great job. You know. I yeah. You guys, the joke, the joke and Pavin game was was actually group play, right? Yeah, groups. It's hard to remember group group games to me, where eh, not that much. I feel like the Clef and Henry game uh, probably was the best because that was a single elimination tournament game. So for me, I think that was the best. D Live, what's up, man? Yeah, that was definitely group group play when that happened. But that, like I said, both of these tournaments were great. I just think man twenty will always hold them back. And number set number eight, we gotta do club series. Same same Madden, same year. Club series, the one that actually that Volt won. The Volt was the only person with the ten cap quarterback. Uh, he was the only person just running a club series. I tell you guys all the time, I, I hate club series. I think it, it holds back the MCS, but it has their own tons of great tournaments uh, from pretty much from the last three or four years, honest. My man Jeezy with the tier one. Thank you. Um, but club series, uh, club series for me, um, this one was great. It was only one runner. There was a bunch of different play styles. And if you ask me of all these tournaments, um, Club Series Man 20 probably had the most variety in the actual play styles, offenses, defenses, everything. You know what I'm saying? I and I feel like that added to this club series. And you know, there was a bunch of people running bunch. There were people running uh different passing plays. There was Wildcat people, um, the heavy Panther, obviously Volt with no quarterback. Um, so it definitely was a variety of offenses, and um I think that added to the win. Added to the game, and when I look back at this club series, this one I believe that uh, the the joke and skimble game was good. Volt and Journey obviously really good. Um, what were some other great games in this? Uh, the Volt and Journey finals. That final run by Volt is probably the best play single play in MCS history, really. Um, but what else? Yeah, Nash District did lead to a lot of people getting to the club series. You know. Z thumbs and skimbo. Was that actually that was actually was like the the first thirty two the first round wasn't it? Yeah, it definitely was. I mean, uh, it was it was sweatier than than we had thought. You know, so there was definitely some good games, and that's what I mean. It was a lot of different play styles. Banks versus the Big Show, man. That that was uh, that was er that was actually in the Redskins. Uh, team or whatever oh yeah kid versus d croft see and that's the thing about the club series is so drawn out that the kid versus d croft game was like september it wasn't like super early noah did not play in the club series um noah actually won the challenge which i don't have on the list the madden challenge for madden 20 i don't have on the list I don't think it was over one of these three from Madden 20. I don't think it, it was there. Um, do you guys think that? Do you, would you guys have the Madden Challenge over the Club Series, the Madden Bowl, or the Classic? Um, you know, for me, I don't think it was over these three. I think it was the lesser of the four tournaments this year. Yeah, Earl definitely needs to make the Niners Club. Jeez. But those are the three tournaments. Kind of how I laid them out for uh, for club series. I believe I only have one. And we'll go on with the list in number seven. The Madden Championship Madden 18. Boom. Madden Championship Madden 18. This was the tournament that Kiv won. This was the Ultimate League. Um, Ultimate League was some shit. Uh, playing in it. Watching it. Pre-recorded Madden is never the move. I... They went out on a limb. They tried the league rather than the tournament. It, I feel like it. Personally, I feel like Madden is never a a league thing. I think it's too hard to, for people to you know keep up with and understand. Also, I feel like I feel like um, the thing with a league is that you know if ever if everybody makes the playoffs, like only I think only two people. Out of, what was it? I believe it was 10 people in each league or 8 people. Only like 2 people didn't make the playoffs. So everybody made the playoffs. Right? 
So for me, if everybody makes the playoffs, what's really like? What are we really watching for? You know, just get. It's kind of like the NBA in the bubble right now. Like I'm so glad to have the NBA back. But all these teams, all the relevant teams are making the playoffs. Let's just get to the playoffs, right? Like, it's cool to watch, but at the end of the day, what does it really mean? And I feel like Madden, Madden as a, a league will always get to that. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much how I felt about the Ultimate League. But at, at the end of the day, they got to a Final Four. They had a great Final Four, uh, which um, Blocky and Kiv... And Drini and True Boy, rest in peace to True Boy, but he made the final four of the Madden Madden Championship in Madden 18, which was the Ultimate League Finals, which Kiv wound up winning his first belt. If you remember, I believe his belt was red, and it was all the confetti fell down, or maybe his belt was so I don't remember what color that shit is. But I remember all the confetti and Kiv winning his first belt in Madden 18. I remember the Ultimate League. I hated the Ultimate League. It was it was terrible to play in, but now, I had that right there. Moving on up, we have the Madden Championship of Madden 19. Best known for the Spoto and Skimbo game, but this is the tournament that Drenny won on a blowout uh, versus, whatchamacallit, versus um, Spoto. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, I have the Madden Championship, Madden 19 Championship up here. Now, I believe that was just another 16-person pool. And we'll get to, is that the best format or everything? Yeah, Drenny, uh, I tell you, and Spoto will agree that Drenny, um, the Drenny, the Drenny inside zone is a little bit different. It's a little bit more high powered than a regular inside zone. But I do feel like this tournament went well. Obviously, the um, Skimbo and Spoto was pretty much the biggest, the biggest game that we remember. Not that it was the best game. But it was just memorable because of, you know, Skimbo Cap and, and everything of along that nature. Uh, so that was Madden 19. What do I have? Number 5. The Madden Challenge and Madden 16. That Now, the Madden Challenge and Madden 16, uh, I always going to be underrated. Now, we have another another tournament where, where Mo won a belt. He won the first belt. Now, what made the Madden Challenge in 16 great was that it was it was half invitational so uh, of the one I believe it was 16 people of you know eight of those 16 got invited you know whether it be problem or mo I believe they had Neff there I forget all the other people that they had but just people with a lot of prior uh you know accolades in the competitive man scene were invited there so that made you want to watch it made you lock in made you see some of your favorite players play against you know the other eight people that earned their way through online competition. So I always thought that was a good mixture and something I, I wish they would do more of in the future, whether it be with former champions, whether it be with YouTubers, whether just mix it up. Get some people that are already established can to help bring eyes to your to your game, essentially. So I thought the Man Challenge 16 was great. One of the best games for a championship we have had, really, when you look about it, was uh, Mo versus... Skimbo for the Madden Challenge 16 belt that was actually at, I forget what it's called, but the, the Palace, not the Palaces, something in, in Hollywood that was actually on the big stage there. So it was a great game uh, with a great atmosphere. And I feel like they executed, that was the first MCS tournament. So I feel like they really executed it really well. Uh, everything went good. And, and I think it's a format that they they could try to venture into a little bit more. You know what I'm saying I think I think those uh those were great that was a great format that they, they need to get back to a little bit more as I move up the list club series Madden 18 um honestly I feel like this tournament uh probably I I don't I don't know why I say underrated because I got it pretty high on my list right here I have the club series Madden 18 Pretty high on us. I believe it was Pico Mo, Stiggity. I believe it was Pico Mo. But I do have the club series in Madden 18. Um, that was the last tournament where we actually went to the Pro Bowl. The last tournament we actually went to the Super Bowl. Uh, and really traveled and had like remote locations for the Madden tournaments. Uh, and it was the first year club series was a big deal. 
So everybody really went out for it. It was really a, it was really an awesome tournament that Ghost wound up winning over Problem. Uh, so for me, uh, the, just the combination of actually going to the Pro Bowl in Orlando and actually going to the, uh, what you call it, going to uh, Minnesota for the Super Bowl where the Eagles wound up winning the Super Bowl was always a good experience. The downside of this is right after... Uh, man, the the downside of right after the Super Bowl, we had to fly to LA to start taping the Ultimate League. So I wound up actually going from Philly to Orlando to Minnesota to LA, all within what two weeks. Uh, so that was a fun time. So for me, the Man Series, the Club Series, Man 18, um, really, I I, I kind of want to say the best format. I mean. If it's going to be a club series, I feel like that's the way to do it. If you look at it, I feel like I feel like it was executed well. I feel like being at the Pro Bowl is always one of my biggest memories from Madden and one of my biggest uh, takebacks from my entire experience uh, playing Madden has been being at the Pro Bowl and being at the Super Bowl. Those are probably my, my two biggest takeaways, and Madden 18 did that the best. So really disappointed that in Madden 19 and Madden 20 we didn't get back to there. We didn't do anything live. Uh, yeah, that 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 was pretty much. Uh, it's pretty much the biggest downside, the biggest downturn that the entire MCS has taken. That they no longer uh, do anything like that. But they also haven't raised the prize pool. So where is all that fundraising going, or all those funds allocated to now? Number three, I had the Madden Championship, Madden 17. Honestly, probably, probably the Madden Championship, Madden 17. I would say that Madden 17 Championship was, I, I want to say it was the best format. I really do. Um, 32 people separated into what? What was it? Six, what's 32 people? Eight groups? Eight different groups. Um, eight different groups of thirty-two people. Two people made it out of each group. Um, the thirty-two people were just obviously the people that won. I, I almost even want to say it was all MCS points. I don't even think like people were awarded like you made it already type of thing. I feel like you needed points. But thirty-two people. I think thirty-two people is a a. If you can't make the top 32 people on points in a year, then you should really have no complaints about a format. I, I really think uh, that this whole, the format of Man 17 Championship was, I don't want to say perfect, but it's as close to it as we have gotten, uh, honestly, for me. Uh, and and it, was, it was really good. Uh, I remember it, that one of the things that made it great were we were actually allowed to be there and watch the games. I, I don't even remember... I want to say this was the last tournament where we could actually watch the games. Uh, I, I I honestly want to say that, you know, uh, for me, I I just that is one of the biggest downsides. One of the other biggest downsides that uh, that has happened within the uh, the, the MCS the last couple of years is that literally there is no live audience. They pay the people, which by the way, I have never heard back from those people for pay for an audience you know i've never heard back from them guys wanted to see if i could pay for an audience a matter of fact let me search my oh man i typed audience i just get a bunch of people so i really don't know how much it is to pay for an audience yeah, I just I feel like that's one of the biggest things. And Matt and what made the Madden Championship in 17 so good was the live audience, was the energy in this tournament, the energy when Joke played played problem, the energy when Mo played problem, uh the energy at the end when Skimbo played problem. I mean, just the energy in, in the whole building uh really made these games that much better and 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 this I this really wasn't all a, a great tournament. I thought the Madden Championship 17. Number two, oh, let me click over here. Hold on. Number two, I have the Man Bowl and Man Seventeen. I really do. Um, once again, the same type of vibe as the championship, but the same type of format as the Club Series in eighteen, in which we were at the Pro Bowl 
in which we were at the Super Bowl. Uh, and I, really, I just feel like there, there's really no comparison to the, the being at the Pro Bowl, being at the Super Bowl. Uh, so for me, those things will never be topped to uh, actually being able to, I, like just saying, you know, I'm going to Orlando and, and to, to play Madden or I'm going to, to Houston to play Madden, honestly. Uh, that that will always be something I, I hope all you guys get that really are good at Madden and get the opportunity to do, honestly. Uh, so, obviously, I won this and playing at the Super Bowl experience, that little venue, I guess it is, with all the football fans. I really think that's an awesome part, too. Number one. Oh, this bug is on me. Oh, shit. Hold up, Chad. Hold on. Look at this fucker. Look at this fucker. Y'all see this fucking wasp? Yeah. 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 God. See, now I'm afraid, though. Now I'm afraid. I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to open my hand. I'm just going to do the rest of the show like this. I feel like he's fighting me right now. I feel like he's, I feel like he's, I'm starting to sweat. I feel like this fucker is fighting me right now. Ah! I'm afraid to let him go because he might have some fight left. I'm sweating now. I'm, I'm, listen, you see the hand. There's no, there's really no, there's really no, this is full, full flexing energy right now. Bro, this shit is like stinging. Oh, he moving. This motherfucker is moving. Ugh. Bro, how the fuck are you moving, kid? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Like, how are you still kicking? Bro, I'm <laughs> I'm sweating like shit. What was that? Push down harder. All in the shirt. Bro. Bro, this motherfucker. We won. We won. We won. Yo, he yo, he did something to my hand, bro. He did something to my hand. He did something to this shit. Bro, I was pushing the hell out of it, bro. Whew, that's a sweat. Now, I don't even want to let him out in that. Bro, I don't even want to let him out. I don't even want to let him. I'm still afraid. Do I let him out? What do y'all think? Do y'all think it's safe yet? Bro, I had no option right there. That's how I'm feeling. I feel like if I let him out, it's going to get crazy. That's how I feel. Yeah, he definitely got me a little bit. I don't even know if y'all could... I would have to, like, change my... Y'all see it? Oh, he definitely got me a little bit. How did he... Like, how did he, like, move his body to do that? I don't know how he moved his body to do that. Like, damn, how you get me, bro? I'm still afraid of this fucker, though. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, fucker. Yeah. Q know the vibe. This is a big. That's a big. This is a big. Look at that guy. That's a big bug. That's a big ass bug. Oh man. GG's. Put the GG's in the chat. Good kill. That's how I feel. You feel me, side? That's 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 GG's, man. Let me cut his head off, bro. Cause I don't I don't really even. Oh. Oh, yeah, I took his head off now, man. GG's in the chat, man. Yeah.
This a big bitch, bro. That's a big bitch. Yep. Just remember, bro. Gulag. He ain't survived the gulag. He still got me. But I've been down before. Anyway. Back to my list. I was just chilling and he landed on me. Now, what's crazy is I tell you this. My girl is like deathly afraid of those things. Like deathly. Like would run for miles. Put one of his legs on me and shit. Like she is like petrified. And I, the craziest part is she never got stung, bro. My bad. You know what I'm saying? And we good. But she's like deathly afraid of them joints, bro. And it pisses me off that she's that afraid of it. Like I can't have I can't have a girl that's that afraid of bugs. Like that's childish. Mad 19 is nowhere on my list. And and as I look at my list, Wesley, it should be over. It should honestly be over the Madden 20 tournaments. He did get me. Bro, I killed the, I killed the wasp. I had hot flashes because I was full sending. I was full sending the, the push down. Like, I was full sending. Like, full sending that. But anyway. The last tournament I thought was the best was the Classic in 18. I thought the Classic was the best. Kib, I thought it was the best. I thought it was the best format. And I thought it was executed the best, for real, for real. Between... Four of the people from the actual challengers, and then four people from online, bro. Ah, oh, shit. I thought Man Classic. Looking back and, and, and to not have that, bro. The Man Classic. Playing on the couch, bro. I thought playing on the couch was was old tough. The only problem with the Man Classic was I feel like it was for like a total of fifty k. Yeah, the Madden Club, honestly, Madden Club should be, let me see this list right here. Oh, here it is. Let me do this. Boom. I'll probably put that in here like this. Boom. Probably put Club Series here. No, 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 no. Club Kip, don't get crazy, bro. The Man Classic 18 was awesome. The Man, the Man Classic 18 was tough. Seriously. I, I, I don't see how there's any downside... I don't see how there's any downside to the Madden Classic in 18. It had perfect... You could go to a live event, win a belt from going to a live event, and you could also play online, bro. There was no... There was no... It was 50-50. Uh-oh. I'm getting an alert. Who went off? MLS back. Okay, the MLS is back. Can't wait to watch that. Club Series 20 was... I, first of all, I think all the Club Series were kind of cheese. 18 was the best... But I really think I really think the classic and Madden 18 was 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 awesome because of that because of that feature of half of it being live and half of it being being online. You know, you could qualify online, you could qualify live. I also felt like the whole aspect of playing on the same TV was dope. Ultimate League was right here, was seven. Ultimate League was trash. Yeah, they told me the MLS finals back. Yeah, that, I'm telling you, the, the the leaderboards for the clubs for uh the Man Classic and Man 18 were cracked because you had to be in the top, the real high. And then every challenger was super lit because you had the if you the winner made it right there. So if you look back on all the challengers, they were all were just like real, real sweaty, like real, real sweaty. 
you know. And then they put you there. Yeah, then we get chaos, you know. Same same TV, same couch, and you got chaos. Now, the couch, the couch was a super positive to that. The couch was super sweaty. For real, for real. No, the classic eighteen over the classic eighteen is the best classic, bro. And you you forgot the challenge. the The challenge in Madden sixteen was dope. It really was. The Madden in challenge. The Madden in what you call it. The Madden challenge in Madden sixteen were mode one. That was a good tournament, bro. Now the one where, where my man Stiff won, ah, not that popping. But the Madden challenge in sixteen was pop. That's what I'm saying, Wesley. The same couch, you feel that pressure. You can reach over and they feel your elbow on. When they feel your elbow, I'm like, damn, he's sweating for real. I'm telling you. No, the Madden 16 was dope. Madden 16 was dope. But it B really got me. Well, Mo didn't play anyone because he was invitational. I feel like that would, that isn't necessarily a bad thing. You know? But I do. I I think you're undervaluing the Madden 18 Classic. I think you are you are devaluing the good things about it. That honestly should. I feel like if you're going to do a classic tournament, if you just take, I would take it the same way and and add the double elimination that this year's Madden Classic had. Yeah, juicy. Let me tell you how I can't wait to go to a bubble in Orlando. That would be awesome, bro. You know how much money they would have to pay me to go to a bubble in Orlando to play Madden? Do you know how much money they'd have to pay me, Juicy? I would have to get like a quarter million dollars to go to a bubble to play Madden. Yeah, the Madden... I told everybody, if I get 10,000 subs on Twitch, we'll go buy a Madden bus. And I'll drive around America and pick up everybody and play. I'll be like Dave Grunfeld. You know how Dave on uh, Madden America and literally drove around... And he and he picked and he played people in Madden. That's what I would do on my Madden bus, for real, for real. There's no chance I would ever play any Madden bus. Any there, there's none. There's literally none. It's never worth it to anybody. I'm telling you, I gotta get ten thousand subs on Twitch, bro, and then we'll do it. I'll buy, I'll buy a bus. I'll get an RV. You know what I'm saying? I'll get an RV. 10,000 subs. Maybe like, by then it'll probably be like Madden 25 or something. Josh, yeah, that, that's pretty much, that's pretty much going to be everybody's question for everything here on out. Why go to work when I can do it at home? I really killed this fucker. I got to y'all right, I got to lay him out, bro. Like, I don't know what you think this is here, boys. It's not sweet. Madden bus, I'm telling you. Dave, I mean, I guess they didn't continue Mad in America. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. It was cool as shit getting on Mad in America, though. Seriously. Like, I remember, like, I guess RG was the one that kind of told them, like, yo, go check out W. This is before I won anything, bro. It was super cool getting on Mad in America. I was hyped for that shit. Yeah, yeah listen, I'm telling you, I might get the bus for episode 100. PT, what's up, man? What's going on in the bot world of Madden? Oh, I got a new game to play too. Let me show you guys this PTA. I've been looking for I've been looking for sim football and I found a good one. Mad America was popping. I don't know if they still have it. I, I, I don't know if I could ever find like my episode of Mad. I can never find my episode of Mad America. It was dope though. Here we go, Dave Grunfeld, lights out. Yeah, I, I, mine's never here, bro. Maybe I'll just type Dave Grunfeld.
Yeah, it really don't pop up, bro. I don't know where to go to find all these ones. Kiv did beat uh yo sim football options. Are you ready to see my sim football? I, I wanna know if you guys are really ready for this new football game I'm about to rock, bro. It's the sim world. PTA, this is the sim world right here. You ready? The sim world. Yep. Yep. You guys think I was joking. Please, you think I'm joking. I'm serious. I'm I'm trying to tell them techno, that's what I'm saying. Matter of fact, let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. Since you guys are doubting my, uh, since you guys are doubting me, This is the, I'm telling you, this is the new option for sim football here, boys. I can never get an online game though, bro. I was labbing. Bro, prize prize pool is two million. Prize pool is two million, bro. I can never get a good game, bro. Carolina Panzers. Bro, this game is lit. The Philadelphia Evils, the Carolina Panzers, Tokyo Terminators, Blitzburg Steelheads, Cardinal Sins, Crokeland Invaders. Yeah, this game is fun as hell, yeah. The Grim Bay Attackers, Insane Cults. Leveland Burns, Malice Hellboys, Micro Hard Mutilators. I'm playing with them. Gulio Bones. It's Gulio Bones, bro. I, I was just. with you on MFL game day. Hey, uh, Frick, do you smell something burning? Well, thanks for reminding me. I'll try to glisten.
Yo, these little yo, the dudes be capping crazy. Yeah, hey, come here. Oh shit. <laughs> Vile. <laughs> yeah, my man's name is Vile Sanders. <laughs> Is there roster updates? How they got Miles Sanders? Slobby banger. Slobby banger. Pussy. Oh. Fumble! Invadian. <laughs> Yo. Invadion Frowny. Okay. Oh, get off me. Uh. Let's go. Let's go, Clowny. Invadion Frowny, baby. Vile Sanders is out. Slobby Banger is dead. Slobby Banger is dead. Bro. Kill Dizzy. Hustle kill some. Hustle kill some. Hustle kill some. Oh, I'm hell. I'm hell. I'm hell. Uh huh. Hustle Kilson. The Portland concept. Slobby Slanger. <laughs> oh, somebody else died or injured? Bletcher Rocks. <laughs> Rustin Grit. <laughs> yeah, they got every player. Oh, goal line. Bootleg option. Martian beast. I mean, all right, hustle kills him. Is, is he needs to be nerfed? Hu Yo, hustle kills him needs to be nerfed. Y'all don't want any smoke on this. Somebody downloaded it, bro. It's free trial, bro. It's a free trial. Now, I, you know, I'm in here before someone says, this is better than Madden. Oh, we're dominating. Oh, he just pitched it? Oh, this dude's different. It's a free trial. I think it's 15 bucks, but I'm on a free trial right now. This is better than Madden, for real. I really should just like make that tweet. Better than Madden. They would listen. PTA and them would listen. I bet their franchise. I wonder. I wonder what their dynasty features are. Yo, this dude just threw. I hot tackle. What button is tackle? Oh, you could actually sub people in? Okay. I mean, their overall is really not that high. Oh, give me that. Shaquille Griffon. Pussy's punting. Deep pulse. Gotta go for it. We gotta go for the for the cover three beater, right? Oh, I might be. I might be goaded. Y'all really don't want me on this game. 
Y'all really don't want me on this game. Y'all don't want me on this game, bro. Y'all don't want me. But this is what we could be playing. DK dead calf, bro. DK dead calf. DK dead calf. That's what that's what we could be playing, bro. And they complain about mad. They complain. They some people would rather play that one. I might be cracked on that game, Wesley. You're not downloading it. You're not downloading it, Wesley. You're ducking as normal. As normal. As normal. Yo, the, the, yo, the, the, the commentators really be, uh, the commentators really be capping on that. For real, for real. In fact, it's a lot more sim, it's a lot more sim in that game. A lot more, you know, different route combinations using the Portland concept along with the flood concepts that don't work in Madden because Madden's just not a simulation game. You know, I just, I, I feel like if Madden took something from Mutant Football League, it, it could really expand their horizon on what's involved in a real football game, honestly. Update on the clan. Um, everything's looking good. I don't know if we added anybody. That's really not my job. Pick, 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 pick. I don't know how to pick. Yeah, my user didn't guard anybody. Something like that, honestly. But I am working on my perfect format, honestly. I'm working on the poor, the, the blah, 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 The perfect format for the Madden MCS Madden 21. You know, now obviously we're not going to have any live events uh, in Madden 21. I don't even know. I uh, Hopefully Madden 22 we can have some live events. I'm really not sure that live events are like the future at all. I really don't know what, what's going to be our next step. But I don't think we're going to really have too many other live events going forward. Uh, but I am going to put together my perfect, perfect MCS list. Uh, hope it, I'm going to work with a million dollar prize. Just a million dollars. Cause they, uh, cause what they, um, what I believe they're going to have is probably similar to what they've had the last three years. Yeah. Let, we opt out, of, opt out of live events, honestly. But I think they're going to have something similar to they had from what they have. They've had the last two or three years, which is like $1.2 million or something like that. But I'm going to work with a million. I'm going to lay it out how I would think it would be the best. You know, I, I honestly. Uh, honestly, I think. You know. Bro. I would fry Wesley in mutant football, bro. I honestly don't think I would lose to anybody in mutant football. Y'all don't know how to use tactics like me like too many people are too many people are cooked on are held up on real football tactics when i told you guys to embrace the game i embrace mutant football i know how to use the slime and the uh over the head attacks and things of that nature that other people really don't know how to use in in, in so to speak in mutant football league really but no i do i do think we're going to be sitting with a million dollars a million dollar prize pool and uh, for me, I, I just the same four tournaments would be great. Uh, but that's what I'm working on now. That's what I worked on today, yesterday, and I have another week to do it. And we'll reveal that next week. Um, next week is going to be the last show before Man 21, right? I think. Because next week, if we look at our calendar. They, exactly. Exactly, Mert. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If we look at our trusty, dusty calendar, right? Google Calendar. Today is the 11th of August. 
I heard 19th is the first day we could download Madden. Is this true? Is this true or not? 19th is the first day we can download Madden. If that's the case, then yes, next week we will have a needed podcast on the 18th, right before Madden 21 downloads. That would be great. You know what I'm saying because God knows we need the new game. God knows. I don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. I think we're just going to be refreshing EA Access over and over until we're able to till we're able to download Madden 21. Because right now I'm over here killing bees for entertainment. You know. <laughs> Wham Neutron. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> wham hey wham neutron as hell I don't know I'm, I'm probably buying my mutt team first I don't know just playing man dude as soon as I get a quarterback I'm in online head to head now this is a question for you guys is it possible to play no money spent without playing solos is that possible or do I literally have to play with like a, a bronze team to start Because I, I really want to do No Money Spent, but I don't want to play any. I don't want to play any solos. Honestly, I, I, I wouldn't want Madden unless I could stream it or make videos. Like, I don't. I... It's impossible. I have to do some solos. Oh, man, that's tough. Grind your champs. Gotta play solo. Solos is like the biggest waste of my time. I can play DC. This one, I this is what I want to do. This is the series I want to do, chat, because I want to have three accounts, right? I want to do. I I have a real life. I have a real life. I want to compete in Madden. To, I don't even want to do no money spent. I I only want to be able to play. How many hours a week can somebody play that has a real life, has a job and a family and everything? That's what I want to do. What, two hours a day? Can I play an hour a day? Do you think I can make a team? An hour a day of Madden. That That's what I wanted. Because I want to shut up every single person that complains. I want to complain. I want to shut up every single person that complains about money, having to spend money on Madden. Or uh, it, it, costs too much, it takes too much time for me to compete. I can't do it. I want to shut up every single person, honestly. Five hours is too much for somebody with a life. BG in the building. The whole year for my man BG. There he is. What's up, buddy? I, I want a realistic number, bro. Because I cause I feel like, all right, Southern Bull, if, if you play four hours a day, Madden, right? I feel like some people would say that's too much. How about 10 hours a week? How's that? 10 hours a week. I'm going to have one team I only play 10 hours a week. I feel like that's a good number. I feel like I feel like 10 hours is is a good number per week. I feel like that's a low amount, bro. Twenty five? No, juicy. Just do you understand like what I'm saying here? I'm gonna ask Twitter what's a reasonable hour amount. Yeah, 
Rush, that's too much. They're going to tell me that's too much. People don't have time for all that. Plus, honestly, I don't want to play this fucking series that long. I want to do the least amount possible and still be tough. <laughs> no money spent, no time spent. How about that? That's the title of my one series. No money spent, no time spent. <laughs> no time, no money. <laughs> Let's let's rock Madden twenty one. That's too much. That's too y'all y'all saying too much, bro. No money spent, no time spent. Literally, I'm just gonna show up. I'm gonna show up five hours a week. Definitely not doing any bundle openings on YouTube ever. No money, no time spent. That's it, bro. Just vibing. I'm going to ask for, like, what's a reasonable amount of time for someone? I'm going to say someone with a real job, with, with two jobs, five kids, a wife, everything, to actually play Madden. Oh, the YouTube bag will be secured. It's just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get bundle. Bundles aren't my my avenue. They're not. Bundles are corny as shit. You know I'll never be corny. Corny is not my. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, I pulled a lead. Nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. EMB has Madden. Really, Uncle Trip? Really? I I I don't know if they would or not. I don't know. Bundle openings. Do y'all watch? But seriously, do y'all watch bundle openings on on Twitter on uh, YouTube? Do y'all? I have never watched a bundle opening ever. I don't know. I really don't. I I don't understand the. I don't understand the fascination with watching other people open bundles. I, I I never understood. I understand watching other people play a game and watching other people be good. I just I never understand watching other people open bundles. You know. You know, so for me, I've never, never been a fan of bundle openings. I don't watch, I don't, that's not my twist. You know, I'd just rather open my own packs. I like, I mean, I watch people live open packs. I think that's a little bit different. I don't know. Bro, I like the game. I really do. Yeah, I like the game anyway. I like the game. That's what I like. Lucky, what's up, man? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not a pack guy. I'm not a pack guy. But I said, but I need to find out because this is what I have right here. This is what I have available at my disposal. This is what I have. Now, I have these accounts, right? What do I do with these accounts, bro? What do I do? Obviously, we're gonna have a super. We're gonna have a super. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a super god squad on my account. Do we do the no money spent? Do we do the two hours a week? No money, no time. My names are fire, bro. Like, what what do you want me to have? How much better names could I have? Yeah, I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with each of these accounts. 
No time spent, bro. No time, no money. This is my team. Let's get it. <laughs> no money spent. No time spent. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> no money. <laughs> No money, no time, bro. No money, no time. That's the move. Dub.2K is the account that I send people to grind my badges, bro. Yeah, hey, I don't need any packs. No packs, man. No money, no time spent. One hour a week, no money, no nothing. Oh, that's rough, bro. I gotta, I gotta find like the real angry YouTube people for that and find out how, how long they, they how long they are allowed to play Madden. Cause you know they're they're angry. I gotta find the real angry people. Greatest mutant football league, yeah. I mean, mutant football looked kind of tough. Ah, uh, no money spent. Dub dot, no money spent. TTV. That might not be bad. That might not be bad. I'm going to ask Twitter what's... Honestly, I don't even feel like doing that. I don't know what I feel like doing, bro. I don't even really want to do no money spent. I just hate. I, I just part, part of me just really wants. I want the evidence to give people to tell them to shut up. You know what I'm saying? Like, but look, I did it. Shut up. Part of me wants that. That's why I want to do no money spent, no time spent. Yeah, get the sim players chirping. Ask Madden only. Ask Madden only. Ask Madden only uh, gameplay. And that's how it goes. But anyway, that's what I need you guys to write in my comments is what what's the time that somebody plays that somebody plays that, you know, has so much other stuff to do and can't play Madden all their lives? Because that's what I'm going to put. My list? Where is my list? Oh, here it is. See, they clown me because I thought the Madden Classic and Madden 18 was the best. Spin the wheel gameplay. Yeah, I thought the Madden Classic in 18 was the best just because I, I thought the format was really creative. I thought the format was really good. I thought playing on the couch was awesome. I thought playing in front of the crowd was awesome. Uh, I thought everything about it was good. I thought only having eight people at the live event made it more special, made it special. Uh, and I just thought it, it brought a lot to the table, you know? That's how. I, that's why I felt it was the best, really. But you know, they they told me I was wrong. They said uh, this this Madden 17 tournaments were the best, which I mean, it's hard to argue with that, really. But that's just how I feel, man. Oh, MCS is canceled this year. Yep. By the way, boys, this was the needed podcast episode. Oh, I almost said 100. What are we on? 93. 90. Three. 94 is next week. The first number that pops into my head from 94 is DeMarcus Ware. I don't know about you guys, but DeMarcus Ware is the first the first number that pops into my mind when I think about 94. Um, yeah, I can't even think about anybody else. Am I tripping? Number 94. I don't know. DeMarcus Ware is all I got. But that's it, boys. Hit the like button. Poor 5 4.